I want to show you another thoracic spine extension exercise. This can be done both in the tall kneeling position um, and it can be done standing. Um, as strength and conditioning coaches, uh, we've got, really got to watch how we, we handle mobility issues and hands-on manual therapy. Uh, this can be done right against a wall. So if you've got wall space in your gym, this can be accomplished. Um, I like this because it gets really good extension in the T-spine. You can also add a rotary component to this exercise as well. So all we'll do is instruct the client or the athlete to get against the wall. Feet are approximately hip width apart. Okay? We're going to interlace the fingers behind the neck and we're going to drive our elbows forward. So we're protracting the scapula, we're getting the serratus activated here. From this position, all we're going to do is climb up the wall and hold. And you'll feel a big stretch there in the lats. You'll also feel that extension drive through the T-spine. Okay? Again, this can be regressed. We can do it from the knees as well. Okay? If we want to add a rotary component, okay, we can add extension and rotation combined. Obviously, um, the quadruped exercise um, is a good exercise to prevent that lumbar rotation. So what we want to do is instruct the client to have neutral hips, meaning their waistline is always in line with the wall. So same rules apply here. Hands hip width, or hands rather behind the neck, feet hip width. We're driving up, okay? We're gonna rotate, look underneath our armpit, and back down. Drive up, rotate, back down. Again, very, very big, important coaching cue here. Watch the hips. If they start rotating, get them back down to their knees or do it from the quadruped position. But an excellent bang for your buck with thoracic spine extension and rotation. Hope that helps.